Praise the Lord, dear brothers and sisters. Today's Gospel reading, 30th June, 2022, Matthew chapter 9, 1 to 8. Courage, child, your sins are forgiven. Thursday of the 30th week in the ordinary time. A reading from the book of Matthew chapter 9, verse to, verses 1 to 8. After entering a port, Jesus made a crossing and came into his own town, and there people brought to him a paralytic lying on a stretcher. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Courage, child, your sins are forgiven. At that, some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. Jesus knew what they were thinking and said, Why do you harbor evil thoughts, which is easier to say, Rise and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the paralytic, Rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. He rose and went home. When the crowd saw this, they were struck with awe and glorified God, who had given such authority to men. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks to be God. Today's Reflections what cripples the mind and heart and stifles the healing power of love? When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Courage, child, your sins are forgiven. This story concludes with Jesus healing the paralytic and telling him to rise, pick up your stretcher and go home. The man does just that and the crowds are amazed. What cripples the mind and heart and stifles the healing power of love? Sin and unforgiveness for certain. Sin cripples us more than any physical ailment can. Sin is the work of the kingdom of darkness and it holds us in eternal bondage. There is only one solution and that is the healing, cleansing power of Jesus' forgiveness. There are two miracles that happen here. One is physical and one is spiritual. The spiritual one is that this man's sins are forgiven. The physical one is the healing of his paralysis. Which of these miracles are more important? Which one you, do you think the man desired the most? It's hard to answer the second question since we do not know the man's thought. But the first question is easy. The spiritual healing, the forgiveness of his sin is by far the most important of these two miracles. It's the most significant because it has eternal consequences for his soul. For most of us, it's easy to pray to God for things like a physical healing or like. We may find it quite easy to ask for favors and blessing from God. But how easy is it for us to ask for forgiveness? This may be harder to do for many because it requires an initial act of humility on our part. It requires that we first acknowledge we are sinners in need of forgiveness. Acknowledging our need for forgiveness takes courage. But this courage is a great virtue and reveals a great strength of character on our part. Coming to Jesus to seek his mercy and forgiveness in our life is the most important prayer we can pray and the foundation of all the rest of our prayers. Reflect today upon how courageous you are in asking God for forgiveness and how humbly you are willing to acknowledge your sin. Making an act of humility like this is one of the most important things you can do. Let us pray. My forgiving Lord, give me courage. Give me courage specially to humble myself before you and to acknowledge all my sin. In this humble acknowledgement, help me to also seek your daily forgiveness in my life. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen.